what's up guys I'm really dumb I just recorded a video that was really important to get right because it was I was recording my reaction to the first time seeing a secret room that Wade had made at the end of the video I'm like all right see you guys later and then I'm I was thinking right when I said that I didn't say anything but I'm like I was thinking oh man I hope my mic is on and then I stopped the video look down my mic was muted the whole time. <sighs> so, um, yeah, so restarting the video. Let's do it again. I just kind of was given a tour of everything. Um, me and, uh, Bon have started working on our new house. Right now it's just a giant cardboard box. But we're gonna make it look good later, I guess. I mean, I have ideas to make it look like, like not a box. And we're not done with it anyways, so it'll be cool, I think. It's going to be like sending down in the ocean, and it's going to be three stories, and it'll be cool. But right now we just got, I guess, kind of the frame done. So, um, let me get, let me show you what's up with our new, with our base. What's new, since I haven't recorded in a couple days. Um... I automated the ore processing from because we got a quarry running and it's just pumping stuff into the machines. See, here comes some aluminum, and these things are just running. Oh, these are turned on. Yes, they are. That's sucking a lot of power, I'm sure. Um, but it's I guess it's good that they're on. Um, so I just got to keep checking this thing every once in a while because we haven't set up a way to sort the output from this, like into a sorting room. Sign says, end chest this to sorting room later. So right now we just got a double chest, but we do need to get some ender pearls and added this here for you guys. What? Wait, what? Who, what? Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we need ender pearls to make a router than this. I'll be able to keep the quarry on all the time without having to worry about this thing overflowing. Speaking of the quarry, um, we produce biofuel from our tree farm. And um, we've been using it to power our MFSU to fill it up. But I realize that it, it's, it's just, I mean, we could just use other fuel sources for the MFSU, but this biofuel stuff for the quarry is amazing for MJ production it one can in this combustion engine that gives five M it first of all it gives five MJ per tick which is a lot secondly it lasts one one can lasts 33 minutes so I mean it's this quarry is running pretty fast and with just this uh, stack of cans that we have in there oh in here I mean this amount is gonna last us like 30 hours or something like that so that's pretty crazy um yeah right now we're just scrapping all this stuff and ender chesting back to the the processing everything else um ooh what's this nothing I was hoping it was I was gonna go looking for some diamonds real quick oh no um what is that a graphical bug yeah it is but anyways we did fix the god tree now it's a crazy god tree what the heck this is a bug oh there you go oh this area I haven't showed you this I made this outdoor part I made a fountain it's got some nice spruce wood some fir planks from the tree farm over there um, and these fancy diagonal tunnels. What's this? Materials? Yeah. And we just added this on, and we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to improve this. Um, I set up some bees, but I need some jungle bees. We don't have a jungle biome. Oh, did my jetpack just run out? I think it did. Yeah, it did. But I got some bees going. Got a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what to do with all the honeycombs. I know I just centrifuge them, but I don't know 
I don't, basically, I don't know, um, which ones I need to breed for, but I'll just have to learn about that some more. I was watching a video from Direwolf20 on that stuff. Apparently, I need jungle bees to make some good stuff. Let me just charge this up real quick. So let me show you our, our power setup. See this charcoal? This is kind of just backup, because, I mean, if we need extra power, which I don't think we ever will, this stuff is ready to be thrown in the generators, but um, right now, from what what most of our power is coming from was biofuel until, until we started saving it for the quarry, and then also uh, creosote, creosote oil from the, uh-oh, jetpack, creosote oil from the coke oven, which I just took down, because I don't think we should keep using the creosote considering we don't need coal coke now because we have other fuel and then also another big energy source methane cells this stack of 64 methane cells would produce like 3 million EU when we get the gas turbine finished which as you can see is nowhere near completion but basically whoa that's not good let's see that's a really interesting graphical glitch as a programmer that is a really interesting glitch just random textures everywhere. Let me fix that. Oh yeah. In order to produce methane cells, you just take some zombie flesh from your collection of zombie flesh. Throw it in here. 16 zombie flesh plus one empty cell goes into one methane cell. No byproducts, so it's not too much to process, to handle. Just get these methane cells. You can see 45,000 EU uh, per cell. So that's kind of a lot. But it does take 25,000 to produce them. So, but it is a net profit, so it's worth it. We just got a ton of zombie flesh saved up. And um, I found this zombie spawner right next to our house, which is really crazy how close it is. It was, I found it in a mine shaft and I just um, built around the spawner. We just have turtles when we come down here in AFK. It just um, it's like an XP slash uh, rotten flesh farm. So that's pretty much all the EU we'll ever need just from that. 16 EU per tick for one gas turbine. Um, did I already mention this auto processing? I think I did. Alright, not too full. I'll just go ahead and take these out and put them in the bee chest. Um, what else to show you? I'll go show you the um, the secret room that I mentioned briefly earlier, I believe. Um, this is really crazy, like the amount of work that went into this room, if you really think about the the cost of the materials, and I'll, I'll explain. Um, so it turns out, I think I already mentioned this, but Wade was like... Uh, yes, Bon, you can. I'll explain after the video. Wait, is like always running out of copper. So, uh, one time I found him like picking out our, our, our finished quarries. I'm like, wait, get out of here. And, um, he was just, they were always out of copper. And, uh, so they actually set up a farm in the nether to pump out lava and just centrifuge lava to produce copper. So that's how they got enough copper to produce all this, this room. Basically what they're, um, what this room is made out of is reinforced stone. And you can see, for 8 stone, you need an advanced alloy. And if you know anything about that, it's pretty expensive. So, this is what they needed to do, just for 8 of these reinforced stone. Now I'm going to show you this huge room. It's, it's going to be a nuclear reactor, because that reinforced stone is uh, blast resistant in case anything goes wrong for the nuclear reactor. But um, basically, they made this room right underneath their house, and it's it, the walls are reinforced stone. And also, keep in mind that when you see this, the the ceiling, walls, and floor are all two blocks thick of that stuff. And it's a pretty big room, and it's all two blocks thick, all the walls of that reinforced stone. I mean, it, it's just a ridiculous amount. I mean, it's got to be like hundreds of 
these stone pieces and then for if you think for each eight of them there's an advanced alloy that's just crazy you know i don't even think it would have been worth it to i mean they 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 have all the i mean they don't even have a nuclear reactor running yet oh here i come oh what's this huh um what um they don't even have any energy running yet, but when they do, they'll have a lot of energy, but we have a lot of energy too. I mean, we have much as much as we'll need. And they ended up spending so many resource on, resources on this room that I don't even think it would have been worth it. I mean, it's the kind of thing that I would have waited until late game when you needed the extra power to spend all the resources on, because right now, we have enough for what we need. So there's here's the entrance to the room because I already know thank you Wade here we go look at this too bad you can't see my reaction because it was the first time I recorded this video and failed because the mic was muted I mean I, I was just like speechless like look at this floor one two three four five six seven eight that's one advanced alloy Considering the floor is two blocks deep, walls are two blocks thick, ceilings two blocks thick, all these separate rooms, um, advanced alloy for the glass too, it's just like, I, I don't know, I don't even know what to say, and they didn't cheat, because we, I could see if they cheat, on the server log, nothing was spawned in or anything, so, pretty crazy, they just produced a ton of this stuff from the lava, and I don't know, it's just Whoa. Hallelujah. It's raining cold. Sweet. Um, so I guess the the water rooms are <laughs> the water rooms are gonna be where they're gonna be doing actual nuclear reactors. I don't know how it works. I don't I need to learn about nuclear, but I don't really know anything about this. But uh yeah, so they'll have a lot of power. Here you go, Wade. What was that? <laughs> How do you... Why do you just go in here and come out with a bunch of charcoal? I'm kind of confused. Oh, no! Oh, I thought they trapped me in here. That would have been cruel. Watch this. Boom. Ouch. It's going to be around 5,500 EU with all running. 5,500 per tick, I guess it means. Which is a lot. Multiply that by 20, and that's how many you get per second. 20 ticks in a second. Um, yeah, so anyways, I will... <laughs> it's too fun, Wade. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hope today you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time.